the hero of Cuban independence, Jose Marti, listed three things that every man should do before he dies. Plant a tree, write a book, have a son. It seems he was more concerned about the legacy each man should leave behind. Here are 10 more things that may seem more practical and possible for every man and a woman out there. Eat a meal good enough to be your last. No matter how meticulously you plan your life, when the end comes, you will still have regrets. But this is one that doesn't have to be. Imagine this is the only time you will get to eat your favorite meal. Then invite your family and friends and your loved ones to join you in enjoying that last meal with you. Give them a happy memory now to cherish you by. Even if you stick around for another 100 years, volunteer at an orphanage. Whenever you see someone miserable, give them one of your smiles. Children at an orphanage are in dire need of happiness, inspiration, and the assurance that things will work out. More than your money, they want your time, your physical presence. Give it to them, generously. Make an enemy. Enemies define us. When we stand up against a bully or expose a fraud, or protest against human rights violation on any level, we are saying, I condemn this and I will fight this until my last breath. Enemies made for the right reason give our life a purpose, a calling. So make an enemy you won't regret. Go on a road trip. All great heroes take a journey and arrive at the end a changed, better person. You don't know what you are made of until you have slept in craft places eaten at substandard eateries and bathed at the bank of a river. Take a road trip to destination. You. Leave your mark in the world by building a charity or helping every stranger or raising a child right. Do something that the whole world or a handful of people will remember you by. And maybe inspired them to do their best to make the world a better place. Connect with a past teacher. A good teacher's work is never done. Even after years, we are still subconsciously applying lessons they have taught us. Nothing would please them more than knowing how they have touched your lives. It's never too late to forgive your past and make friends with it again. Make a pilgrimage. The pilgrimage can be spiritual or physical or emotional or all depending upon whether you visit a holy place or a rainforest or the birthplace of your forefathers. The idea is to connect to the universe so you can feel you have existed. You have meant something. Your life has come a full circle. Give blood. Do you know one blood donation can save up to three lives? If that's not reason enough to donate blood, then what is? Sing your favorite song to an audience. Put your heart and soul into one song that defines you, or amuses you, or inspires you, and share it with strangers, or loved ones, in your own voice. Because we all have at least one song in us. Live a little. What better way to cap this list but the age-old advice? When you are being kind to yourself or a stranger. When you are spending quality time with loved ones. When you are attempting to do the impossible. When you are challenging yourself or the norms. When you are lying on your back looking at the stars, you are taking a break from the mundane life and living a little. If you live a little every day in about 80 years, you will have lived a lot more than all your generation combined. So put more life in your years. 
not vice versa.